Hey guys, it's Asia, the Princess of Variety, and I am back with a new video. And this video will cover episode 4 of BGC 12. So the episode started with Red and Jada where they had left off the episode before, I guess. And Red is still a rapist. Like, I don't understand why this girl does not understand the word no and what it means. And it's just getting really annoying, like, how she's treating Jada. And Jada just flipped out and started throwing stuff everywhere. She's like, release it, Jada. Release it. She's just really annoying. Like, I don't like Red anymore. She's She needs to go. Speaking of Jada, we didn't really see much of her that last episode, like episode four. We didn't really see much of her. And I don't know if you guys didn't notice, but I noticed. I didn't really see her talking much. I mean, after that little incident with Red, it was kind of like she was just like, she talked to um, Asia and Alex and stuff, but she didn't really talk much throughout the episode. So I don't know. She was kind of in her own little world. And I realized I never talked about the fact that the life coach came to the house and I thought that was a really good addition to BGC I mean apparently they're going back to their roots or whatever and I thought that was really cool how they added that in and I never really talked about the fact that she came but um I liked the little life coach and um how they talked to her and stuff she's actually from a show called you're cut off that was on vh1 if i'm not mistaken i don't know if you guys have ever seen that show but i used to love that show to death like um i think it was yeah it was, i think it was before i even started watching bad girls club or before i even got into bad girls club i used to love watching that show it was so good and she was like the host on there or the lady i guess she was kind of like their coach too but yeah i like laura i think her name is laura baron I like her and I think that it's really going to be cool to see how her being in the BGC house impacts the girls and everything. At one point of this episode they went to play this little game where they're like in like bumper cars and they're like playing basketball like that's what it looked like a mix of bumper cars and basketball but it looks really really difficult to play like I don't know I felt like if I was there and I had to play I would have gotten mad because it, it looked like it was impossible to like actually get the ball in the hoop with that little with the little tennis racket looking thing whatever the thing was they were holding but yeah it looked like a really difficult game so yeah I would prefer to just go skating or something easy it seems like Jonica and Asia are getting a little bit closer and I mean I think they're cute I don't know why Jonica is like being like oh yeah I don't want to disrespect Diamond and all this stuff but she's still talking to Asia but whatever I mean like she said she was honest with Diamond and I guess Diamond knows, so, I mean, whatever. But the girls are, like, getting mad at Asia because of it. And I don't understand why. They're like, oh, she's a hoe and she's all up on Jonica and she's so fake and basic. Like, <sighs> Jonica obviously wants Asia to. She's feeding into it, so it's not like it's just Asia. And Red is, like, calling Asia all these mean names and stuff. But she's the one that's sleeping with her sister's husband. Like, girl, bye. And speaking of Asia, I don't understand why the girls don't like her. Like, she's so nice. She seems to have a backbone. She she just seems like a cool person to hang out and be around. Like, she seems so down to earth. And there's girls like Brit that don't even like her. Like, what does she do to Brit? What does she do to Red? What does she do to these people? I don't understand. And Brit's, like, going off and, like, I want to knock her. I want to fix her teeth or something she said about Asia's teeth. And I'm just, like girl you're just trying so hard to be relevant it's like shut up i really don't like brit i don't like brit i don't like red i don't really like lauren but i mean it's like i feel like with lauren she's not trying as hard to be bad if that makes sense like she's super annoying she's equally annoying as them but i feel like with her she's acting like that because she like really really does have issues like that girl is just really effed up in the head but I feel like Red and Brit do it just because they feel like doing it and they have nothing better to do but they know better and speaking of the little monologue that Brit had talking about what she wants to do to Asia and how she's gonna beat her up and all this stuff she posted on Twitter that she said that she was acting like that because she was bored in the house like I told you guys last time team real versus team start drama just because you're bored 
There you go. She pretty much confirmed that on Twitter. As far as the ex on Lauren's picture, I don't really know who did that. Personally, I think that it was one of her friends or one of the people that she associates herself with in the house. And the reason I say that being because... Think about it. Would you guys be surprised if you figured out that Red or Brit was one of the people that actually put the ex on Lauren's picture? I wouldn't be surprised. I'd be like, oh, well, I'm not surprised at all because they seem like the type of people to do that and then act like they didn't do anything just so you can attack Asia because they know Lauren is going to go after Asia and Jada and Alex before she goes after them. So, I mean, I really do think it was one of them and I don't really believe that they actually said who it was in the um episode I don't think they ever figured out who it was but hopefully we do figure it out later because I really do believe that it was one of them I think it's one of her friends and she's gonna feel really stupid once she figures that out and if it was Asia Alex or Jada I think that's funny too I mean I don't blame them if it was one of them <laughs> And when that was going on, you could really tell that Jonica is like her own person. Even though she's friends with Red, Britt, and Lauren, she's still her own person and she still has her own opinion. And she stood up for herself and she said, I don't understand why you guys are blaming them. It could be anybody that put that on your picture, Lauren. Like, it could be one of your friends. You don't know who did it. So why are you going after them? She was standing up for Asia, too. Like, Red was like, why are you going to talk to her? And Jonica's like, well, you know, I do my own thing. And I like Jonica for that. Like, I haven't seen a bad girl in a while that actually stands up for her self. And not in the sense that she stands up for herself, like, defends herself but she actually defends her opinion and what she believes in even if it goes against what her friends think and I think that's really cool that Jonica does that and I really really respect her and like her for that even though she associates herself with them I can actually deal with her and tolerate her because I know that she's not a follower and next week it seems like Red is going to fight Jada and I can't wait to see that I mean hopefully Red actually gets kicked out of the house for fighting Jada I'm not really ready for it because of the fight but I'm ready for it because I want her to leave and I want somebody else to take her place because she's really annoying and I think it'll be interesting to see how Brit acts in the house when Red isn't there so I really want to see that but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I kind of did it spur of the moment but I want to do it I want to try like a different background like my actual bedroom and better lighting and stuff so I think this is cooler than sitting over there in that corner with the pink wall behind me like you guys can barely see me and stuff but yeah I was it was fun doing the video like right here I feel like more engaged in what I'm doing and I feel I feel a lot more refreshed and stuff because I feel like you guys can actually like see me and I can see you and we see each other okay if you guys enjoyed this video please like it share it and I want you guys to comment what you think about everything that I said in this video and your opinion on how Jonica was defending herself and defending her opinion and speaking up for what she believes in. Um, what did you guys think about Jonica's girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, whatever, Diamond coming to the house? Um, what do you think about the girls? What do you think about Asia standing up for herself when Lauren was accusing her of putting the ex on her photo? What do you think about all that stuff? What do you think about Jada being quiet? Do you think Jada's the one that put the X on Lauren's picture? Like, give me what you guys think because I want to know. And do not forget to subscribe, by the way, so you guys can see my other reviews and anything else that I post having to do with BGC. And I cannot wait for next week's episode. So please stay tuned. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!